to measure off the edge of the hood, 12 inches right to the very beginning of that stripe, the rally stripe. Then the rally stripe itself is an inch and a quarter wide. Most of the Mopars that I work on, the graphics are made of vinyl. So you put them on just like you would a regular decal. Occasionally, like the 70 Roadrunner, the V21 blackout on the hood, it's painted on. But they're gonna go all the way down, all the way across the back of the cowl. And what I do is I go inside, I'm anal retentive when it comes to painting something on a car. I don't like doing it. So I take it all the way down into here, right into the into the reverse corner. Yeah, gotcha, okay. So bring it all the way here, and then when we paint it, maybe, yeah, it won't get all solid right into that inside corner. I don't want to stand back and see black and then a little seam of purple at the bottom. Because okay. nothing looks cheesier than seeing the end of the stripe. Is that the outside or the inside? This is, the stripe's going to be right inside of there. Okay. They're diving just a little bit. See, we're just like from here to here, it just oh, yeah. has, yeah. it's because of the nature of the hand. Yeah. So if you just tell me, I can. No. It's crooked now this way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me perfectly straight. Nope, gotta go towards Main Street. This is by far my favorite car I've ever done. I love it. You know, the, the color, the body, you know, the shape of the car, it's just, it's a cool car. Yeah, I love it. It's a challenging job, and if you mess up, you get to repaint the hood and the upper cowl panel. So you gotta make sure that thing is laser straight, that it wraps around the back edge of the hood, that it wraps around the front edge of the cowl. Okay. Yeah, that one is pretty bad. Um, you have to use the blue fine line tape or the paint will bleed underneath it. It's one of the things I see at the car shows is and one of two things will happen. Uh, one of the guys will, whoever's laying out the stripes on the hood will get in a hurry, and they'll get a little bit of a snake to them, a little crooked, or they won't mask, fine line them out with the actual fine line tape, and if they don't use the fine line tape, the paint will bleed under it, so you'll see all these little, just faint little whiskers of paint up and down the, uh, the striping on the outside, outside edge. Everything is gonna be exactly the way this car came off the assembly line in 1970. Unmasking a car post paint is as tedious of a job as masking it. If you're not cautious and take your time and make sure that the paint isn't bridged anywhere, you can actually peel up either the old paint or part of your new paint. Everybody Mark here from Graveyard Cars. I can't put the top up until you hit subscribe. So I'm begging you, hit subscribe.